everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Uh, I need to say thank you to all my patrons, people who sponsor me, people who help me out. Um, thank you very much. And there's a long list of you, and I don't say thank you enough, but I want to remind you all that I know you're there and your help is greatly appreciated. I got a message from one of my patrons and uh, it's actually from the wife. The husband's birthday is, I think, in a day or two from now. But she asked me to say happy birthday to him. He's a fan of the podcast. Well, I haven't been making the podcast these days. Don't worry. I will start again. Both podcasts, the E-Cubed Daily Easy English podcast and the Let's Master English podcast, those will start again after a thousand here. Uh, but I hope you're watching the video. So I need to say happy birthday to Tahir. Tahir Ahmad, happy birthday. I hope that you have a fantastic day. And uh, thank you for being a patron to everybody out there. So Tahir and everyone else, everybody, thank you so much. Now, today's expression is a good one. It is boom. A Charlie horse. A Charlie horse. And sometimes we spell it with a big C. Sometimes people say C-H-A-R-L-I-E, but actually it's C-H-A-R-L-E-Y, Charlie horse. Sometimes people use a hyphen, Charlie, dash, horse, but you can just use it as two words also. And we use it as a noun, a Charlie horse. He gave me a Charlie horse. I have a Charlie horse. This is how we use it. A Charlie horse. It's a noun. Now, the origin, I'm not, I haven't told you what it means yet. What does it mean? You'll find out. The origin of this expression, they're not sure, but they believe it came from a long time ago from a farm. There was this baseball player who grew up on a farm and he had a horse who did lots of work in the field. You know, it would pull stuff. It was a working horse. And the best horse they had was named Charlie. And Charlie was strong. It was a strong horse. It could pull things, you know, it was a very strong horse. But after many, many, many hours every day of pulling things, eventually its legs couldn't move. So they had to massage the horse's legs and relax it. And then the next day, boom, strong and ready again. But then, boom, the legs of the horse again would freeze. The muscles would lock and the horse couldn't move. It's a sad story. But that's where the expression comes from, probably. And this guy was a professional baseball player, and when he would, especially as he got older, he would be running to the base, and suddenly his leg would freeze, and he couldn't run anymore. He was just like his horse, Charlie. He had the same problem in his legs as his horse, Charlie, so we started there's a tr truck going by, I apologize. So we started the expression, he started the expression, probably a Charlie horse. What exactly is it? I'll tell you after you check out the dialogue. Ow, he need me. It wasn't on purpose. Where? Oh, he gave me a Charlie horse. All right, so we have three people in the conversation. The first and the last were the same guy. Ow, he need me. To knee somebody means to take your knee, right here, your knee, and boom, like hit him. So you can hit somebody with your fist or you can hit them with your knee, okay? That's to knee somebody. Ooh, that can be very painful if somebody knees you. But imagine in soccer. And football, you know, the right now the European Cup is happening. Uh, they're even doing something here in Chicago. There's a lot of uh, soccer activity. Messi is in town. I know that. Iceland tied Portugal? What? How did that happen? And good, good job, Iceland. Portugal. Sup? Sup, y'all? 
Uh, anyway, Argentina won without Messi? Wow. Anyway, anyway, sorry. Uh, so, uh, in soccer, it's possible you're, you're trying to kick the ball, but your knee hits another guy. Ooh, that can be painful. So, I need the guy. So, you could knee somebody in the between the legs and you can almost kill them. Uh, you can knee them in the head. You can knee them in the back. This guy got kneed in the thigh. And once again, you can't really see, but this is the thigh, the upper part of the leg. Can you see that? That's the thigh. Down here, that's the calf. Whoa. So the thigh. So you can imagine getting kneed in the thigh. Has it ever happened to you? <gasps> if you get kneed in the thigh, the muscles are called the quads, the quadriceps. If you get kneed in the quad, the quadriceps, oh, it can be so painful. So painful that we call it a dead leg. It Your leg dies, okay? And it can be for 30 seconds. It can be for three minutes. It can be for three days. You can get a bruise. It can be super painful. That is the origin. That is the general idea of a Charlie horse. So in baseball, the baseball is coming and it hits you in the leg. Ooh, you get a Charlie horse. Sometimes your body, uh, you know, vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin A, there's something called potassium, potassium, which is the symbol K. But anyway, if your body doesn't have enough potassium, they say your muscles, <laughs> can lock. That's also called a charley horse. So you can get a charley horse in your foot, in your calf, C-A-L-F, in your thigh, in your back. We do say charley horse in other parts of the body, but the original, the standard, the typical meaning is in the thigh. It doesn't have to be because of not enough potassium. It can be because a baseball hit your leg or somebody need your leg or you were running and your leg bumped into the table. <gasps> oh, and then you can't move. After the baseball hits you, after somebody knees you, after you bump into the table, oh, you cannot move. You have a Charlie horse. And now you know the history of the expression. Now you know what it means. And I hope you never get a Charlie horse. But it happens. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. Don't forget, check out the website, www.letsmasterenglish.com. It's your website. And uh, we got a blog. Check out the blog. People are leaving great uh, lesson things, things that they're learning about in my classes. So just go to the website, www.letsmasterenglish.com, and up above you'll see blog. We got blogs in Persian, in Korean, in Portuguese, and other languages. I don't even know. Turkish. Uh, we've got some other languages too, I think. Uh, yeah. So I want you to check that stuff out. Of course, if you don't speak those languages, you can still check it out, all right? www.letsmasterenglish.com. Check out the dialogue three more times, and I will see you tomorrow, probably. Bye-bye. Ow! He need me! It wasn't on purpose. Where? Oh! He gave me a Charlie horse! He need me. It wasn't on purpose. Where? Oh, he gave me a Charlie horse. Ow, he need me. It wasn't on purpose. Where? Oh, he gave me a Charlie horse.